Hi, I'm Jane with Pilates in Holland. And in this video, we're going to explore some of the modifications you can use in some of the more common Pilates exercises if you have osteoporosis or any kind of back issues or if you just don't like getting up and down on the mat. The first thing you have to understand when you do a modification is why are we doing the exercises? So we'll talk about that and I'll show it in several different positions. So one of the first exercises that we do as a warm-up in a Pilates class is inhaling and exhaling. You inhale up, you exhale down. Now with osteoporosis, when we do this part, you want to make sure that you do it with a flat back. So take a deep breath in, and instead of leaning with your head, think your sit bones are going back behind you as you exhale down to a point where you can actually manage it and then use your abs and your back to pull you back up. And let's do that again. So take a deep breath in, exhale, flat back, you dive down, your sit bones go down behind you, your head thinks long out in front, your abs will pull you back up to the beginning. One of the other exercises that we do at the beginning is cat-cow, and that's also used for spinal mobility. So one, if you, if you have wrist issues, one modification you can do is take a towel and roll that up and actually put that um, underneath your wrists until your hands are actually on the floor. Uh, go sideways, you can see a little bit better. So the other thing is that with, with osteoporosis, you wanna avoid flexion. So the cow part of it is probably not the best thing for your spine. So let's think, let's start first in neutral and we're extending again back through your sit bones. Think long through the top of your head and let's go down into cow. So drop your belly to the ground and your chest comes up and you're looking in front of you. Now go ahead and look down at the floor. Now to get some effort of it or some benefit of the extension, go ahead and push into your palms into your palms of your hand and extend your shoulder blades apart and then come back to neutral. So think press down in and you're pulling your shoulder blades away from each other and then they come back in. Now that you can use for the flexion part of it. So you're pulling away, you come back to neutral and then you come back in for the extension. You can also do this using a chair. So if you're on the back of the chair or, the, or on the seat of the chair, go ahead and lean over. And now you're going to, you can do the extension and then you can push into your hands to really think about extending your shoulder blades up without the, without the flexion. So go ahead and chest and sit bones go up to the ceiling, come back to neutral, push down into your hands, pull your shoulder blades extend apart from each other. One of the other exercises that we do is called roll up, roll down. Let me move the chair over a little bit. And that is seated. And the purpose for that is to strengthen the abdominals. So how can we do that? Normally you're tucking and rolling in your seat curve and going back. Again, flexion, not a good idea for osteoporosis. Let's start, we're gonna do it in a flat back. So let's start with your hands crossed across your chest. Take a deep breath in, sit up nice and tall, and then go ahead and lean back. And you wanna lean back as far as you can actually control your abs. You feel your abs kick in, and then go ahead and come back up and sit up nice and tall. So you're hinging at your hips, inhale, Exhale, squeeze your abs, hinge at your hips, lean back as far as you can control it, and then come back on up. Take a deep breath in. Now this one we can also do sitting. So if I show this in the chair, sit on the edge of your chair. Again, you can cross your arms. That takes your shoulders out of it. Let's take a deep breath in, think up nice and tall and you're gonna lean back. You'll feel your abs kick in, and then come back on up straight and tall. One more time. Think up nice and tall. Inhale, lean back. 
you feel your abs kick in, and then go ahead and come back on up. Good. One of the other exercises that we often do, which includes rotation, is saw. So the reason for saw is to help you get so that you can actually sit up nice and tall on your sit bones. Increases abdominal strength and it also stretches and rotates your upper back. So how can we do this without getting that rotation, which is not necessarily all that good for uh, a spine with osteoporosis. So let's arms out straight. You're sitting up nice and tall. Again, think very long in your spine. And what we're gonna do is take your eyes. Your eyes are gonna look right. Your hand and then lead the way. Your hand is gonna go back and you'll stretch back that way. And take your right hand, your eyes will follow to the front, your palm flips up, and then serve forward. Come back in, and you come back around like this. So same thing on the left, eyes lead first, pull back, and you're really opening up in the shoulder area right here. Come back forward, and as you come in, you rotate your palm, and you serve forward, stretching out the back part of your, your shoulder. So with this motion, you're getting the front part, and then with this motion, you're getting the back part of your stretch. You can also do this sitting in a chair exactly as we were doing here. Uh, one of the other exercises that is often done in Pilates is the hundreds. And the hundreds is the one where you're laying down, you're in a flexion position, your legs are out straight, and we're pumping our arms and breathing in and exhaling out for 10 rep repetitions. Now, if you're on a mat and you wanna stay there, there's many modifications. So one modification is just lengthen back through the top of your head, engage your abdominals, let your head be heavy so that your upper abdominals are gauged, hold it with one hand, legs come in tabletop, your legs can be here, they can be out long, and they can be out straight, lots of modifications. And then you can pump with one arm, and then halfway through, you switch and you pump with the other arm. So another way to do this is actually kneeling. Kind of fun. So come to your high knees, and then we're gonna pump with your arms this way. And the third way you can do it is actually seated. And I'll show you a variation this way. So you're sitting on your sit bones, and now we're gonna pump as you inhale and exhale, but also lift a leg, which will also help engage the abs. So the purpose of the exercise is to connect your core to your breath, strengthen your abdominals, and also start to begin to waken up your, your trunk stability muscles. So let's do, we'll do 50 of these. So take, sit up nice and tall. You're square on your sit bones. So we're gonna sniff in. And you're pushing as if you're pushing through a pool of waters or molasses. So here we go, sniff in for five, two, three, four, five, exhale. Shh, shh, shh. So sniff, two, three, four, five, exhale. Two, three, four, five, lift your left leg. Two, three, four, five, exhale. Two, three, four, five, sniff. Switch your legs. Two, three, four, five. Sniff. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Two, three, four, five. So that's just a portion of the hundred to give you an idea. The last one that we're going to explore is bridge. And bridge is when you're laying down on the ground. And it's the purpose is to strengthen your hamstrings, your glutes, and it's really good for those walking muscles. But when you're in bridge and you come way up high, you put a lot of pressure on your upper spine. So there's a couple different ways to modify that. One is you can put something actually behind your upper back, like a, like a pillow or um, a sitting box. If you want to do it actually on a footstool, you could do that. Uh, the other thing is you cannot come up quite so high. So think long through your head and then just engage your glutes by just a small lift. So you're not in quite as much extension. I'm gonna show you the seated variation, which is kind of fun. 
So as we're sitting here, you're sitting on your sit bones. We're going to press into your right heel and feel your left leg lift. So now you can feel your, your glutes and your hamstring on your right leg actually activate. Now we'll go ahead and switch. Push into your left heel and feel your right leg lift. Let's push into both heels and like you're going to sit up, but you're not actually sitting up and you can feel your hamstrings and your glutes engaged. So that's a really good alternative if you don't want to get down on the floor um, and you want to still experience bridge. So thank you for exploring all of these modifications with me. I hope you enjoy them and we'll look forward to getting together again. Thanks.